Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and we're still in the tutorial series. It's time to start ripping stuff up. Uh, actually, uh, put those two guys back down. Put coal on them, because they're still going. We'll rip this guy up, because he's not doing anything anymore. And we'll top up everything with fuel. Why are you not running? Why are you not running? Oh! Because you in reverse have chewed up all the resources we're sitting on top of. Alright, well you can all go then. Uh, so you have this little guy still doing Still slowly churning out uh, science packs. And you guys are out of fuel. Pick up a heap of green circuits whilst we're here. Dump those down. Fluid handling's done! Alright, military. Not that we really need military, but it's sort of on the list of things that we have to do. Um, okay. So, I told you we had to do it. Um, heavy armor, not that that helps us either. Alright, next thing we're desperately going to need is we're going to need to be able to make green circuits. Now, we don't need to... Oh, i got to burn a minor drops. Alright, let's dump those. Whilst we run, let's craft some stuff. So, we need iron plate. And I just empty these furnaces of what they've got. Uh, make me some assembly machines. We need inserters by the bucket load. We're out of iron again. I said you get me. I said you, this game you run through iron. Three hundred might be a bit of overkill, but we'll right-click on a heap and make a heap of them. Uh, One hundred fifty, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there goes research. We'll put down these minor drills as well. Bring our belt back out. And do I have any of these guys? I've got two. We need just a couple more. No, nope, one more. Get rid of that list. Add them back in. Alright, now our power is still running off these guys, which are getting a little bit low on fuel. So we'll refill those at the same time. That's still not automated, not fully automated yet. Um, so that still needs a fix. Now whilst I think about it, because of the way these are just feeding on one side of the line, we have coal backed up on one side of the line only. Now, that's a bit of an issue. So I'm going to pop this down here, and I'm going to do that. Which will take anything fed in on, on either side of the line, feed it straight through on... It all stays on the right. So this is feeding on the right, and we'll put that there so you can see. It's also feeding on the right. So what we're going to do is aim that straight back in, and it will now feed on the left which will double up the amount of coal we can sit on the belt. It doesn't increase our production at all, it just doubles the amount we can fit on the belt, um, which is basically like a buffer area for the moment. Um, okay, green circuits. We need to automate green circuits. Now, green circuits, as we found out before, uh, need three copper cable and one iron plate every half a second. One copper plate, gets turned into two copper cable every half a second, but we need three. So we need, uh, we'll put it right there. Uh, nope. Whoops, still off. Copper cable, copper cable, green circuit. So that will produce this guy will produce two, 
both inserters will pick it up, throw it in here, right? which will then get used instantly. This guy will produce two. We're only pulling out one. You know, he can move half speed. You know, he can pull out the other one as well. But per half a second, because these inserters are not exactly fast, they only move about once a half a second. Um, that'll give us three. Plus we need an iron plate. We'll put iron in that end. And we should really, at the same time, actually get this stuff organised. Uh, we use one copper cable, uh, one copper plate. So we only need one inserter. Uh, we need this copper brought all the way along here. Iron has to come up to that one. Uh, put down another one of these. And let's actually put things in an order where we're going to use them. Uh, come on, mouse. Middle mouse button. There we go. Yeah, middle mouse button to save things. Oops. All right. Um, yeah, to, to, to lock that particular square in your tool belt to that one item. Uh, Put a power pole there, power pole there, and a power pole there. And done. Problem is, we've got nowhere to output these guys. So, to get over that, we're going to put a long-handed inserter. And we'll pop that right there. Long-handed inserter reaches two squares in either direction. So, it can put things further out. And then, I should bring that back down. Now, as I said... We've got all this spare copper cable in this machine. Uh, well, we've got a copper cable spare. So if we do... No. Nope, that. That, that, that. With that there. With one of them there. Oh. Nope. I don't have any long-handeds. Only made one. One there. And then... Copy, copy. Copy, copy. And run the iron belt up further. We're now... Hang on. Let's empty this belt. Well, now, you'll now see they're both running flat out. Okay, if we hover it over, our mouse over it, you can see as fast as the copper cable is being made, it's being used by both machines. Um, that is a perfect ratio for green circuits. Uh, which also means that when I put a inserter here with a chest, you can fill up, please, sir. Um, unfortunately, two machines will produce too fast for this guy to pick up. We can upgrade him to a fast inserter, which moves significantly more, as you can see. And that'll produce us a crap ton of green circuits. Which is good. It's one less thing we have to do. Uh, more importantly, we need to start doing... We've got a few red-only sciences to go, but we still we need to start getting on this green science. So, green science is inserters and transport belts. We've made transport belts down here. We know how to do that. So, let's build... Well, actually, let's start with green science. So, thank you. Green science, this guy took five seconds. We built two of them to make sure we had two per five seconds. This guy takes six seconds, so we need to have 12 of them. We know up to there's 10. Add two here. That's 12. Uh, same story. Grab our inserters. Output, output, output. Uh, set you to green. Copy and paste. And now we need to do our input. Uh, uh, we'll have it feed in from the bottom somewhere. Okay, so we need to do uh, belts and inserters. Inserters are a electronic circuit, which are right over here. Uh, plus a gear and an iron plate. Which should be easy enough. We've, we've, we've done a bit of automation by now. Alright, so we need to do two assemblers. You two to make belts. Uh, 
Yeah. And then we need two on the other side to make these inserters. So, uh, gears. Oh, thanks. New research. And gears. We need an iron belt. We've got one right here, luckily. Uh, get that out of the way. Now, the age-old factorio problem is wherever the hell a power pole is, is chances are it's right where you want to build. And you're going to do a belt, sir. We're going to use some more inserters. Two, two, one. With an output. And we might power this thing up at the same time. Uh... So... And that gives us one of our two products. The next one is our inserters, which as you can see, I cannot build. Because that requires three items, and this little guy only does crafts. Items require up to two ingredients. So I need a bigger and better assembly machine. Which has a whole new crafting speed of 0.75. So that means this guy will actually go too fast. Which is another problem we're going to have to sort out in just a minute. No. Uh, iron in there. I'm going to take this iron belt. We're going to, you're long enough. I'm going to run that iron belt around there. And then you also need an electronic circuit. Uh, more research. You need to go there. You need to have an output. You all need power. So we're just missing the green circuit. Which... Hmm. Alright. If we use an underground from there to there. Oops. Actually place that down. Uh... We can then go underground there to there. And bring that across. And you can now input. Nope. You're picking up stuff too fast. So let's put down a crappy one again. So you're a little bit slower. That'll give us some green circuits. Which means now you'll output and make us inserters excellent all right next on the list yeah i know i misclicked so we have a stack of labs but as you can see all the science is all the way backed up so we need to fix that desperately and quickly to get this research done Because we've got enough production, but we don't have enough labs to use the production we have. So the quickest way to fix that is dump down more labs. Come on trees, out of the way. Alright, lab, 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 lab. Come on trees, go away. Now, I know somebody at some stage is going to yell at me for building over resources. I set the map with resources so high, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you two, you two, you two, and you two. Grab our power poles, run them along. Excellent. Alright, we're probably still producing way too many item, uh, way too many science packs for what labs we have. Uh, but an easy answer for that is we just start putting labs on the other side now it's a little bit of a stretch uh, ah excellent all right so now we're down to red and green science only so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do military 2 which gives us grenades which are awesome for clearing out trees uh, that's that's what they they, they really 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 
It's what everybody uses them for, let's be honest. Nobody actually uses them for clearing out blighters. Um, we're just going to pick off any research we can. Just to get it done and out of the way. Uh, labs. Perfect. Power up these labs. And no, we're now not producing greens fast enough. Mm. No, you're waiting on R. See, I didn't put enough didn't put enough gear wheels into this machine. Now this machine... Uh, go away. This machine is faster. Because it's a level 2 assembler. So it does craft significantly faster than the machines feeding it. So, best way to really get around to fixing that is not handcraft a bunch of crap. Uh, we have one making gears for us. Excellent. No. Uh, you're making green circuits. No, still making gears, using gears. Pick up lots of gears, please. Is to upgrade every other machine to be the next tier. So now they all run at the same speed. Um, because we've upgraded green science, we need to upgrade red science as well. Uh, which gives us a crap ton of these assembly machine ones, which are used in the recipe to make assembly machine twos. So we're just going to craft them to get them out of our inventory. Uh, you're feeding red science, so you need to be upgraded as well. And there we go. Okay. So somewhere along the line, we research down here. We researched steel processing, which gives us steel. Steel needs iron plate. Uh, here. Which means we really need to do something about that. We don't need steel just yet, but we will do. Um, probably the most important thing you'll ever need steel for early on in the game, and it's something I actually recommend as soon as you've researched it, is to take a furnace, put another furnace beside it, Take just a single assembler and take plate out of this one and feed it in this one and add coal. Okay? Steel takes a long time to make. Seven and a half seconds. With one going, you only need one going because you want a steel pickaxe, which needs five steel. So it's going to take you 60, 90 seconds, however long it is, to get enough steel to make a steel pickaxe. Steel pickaxe chops trees faster. That's the bottom line. And yes, I'm still playing at double game speed, so this is a lot faster for, for you guys to watch than it would be to play it in real time. Let's go back to real time. Yeah. You hear the sound? We chop each tree four times. Steel pickaxe chops twice as fast. So, um, yeah, as soon as you get that steel research done, dump some plate either with an inserter or just manually load it up uh, along with some fuel into a furnace to get steel plate processing. Uh, now I've cleared out this whole area. I think I actually want to build below here. Yeah, I want to build steel. Oh, we're at seven. So, uh, one steel pickaxe, please. Put that in there. And now we'll chop some trees. As, as I said, it's now two hits. So a lot faster. Now, the biggest thing with steel processing is it's a perfect ratio um, between iron plate and steel. So iron plate takes three and a half seconds. And you need one iron ore for it. Steel plate takes, three time, uh, takes five times longer and you need five times as much. So, that means, in theory, you can do direct insertion from one machine to the next, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, you are making undergrounds. I'll have all those undergrounds, please. 
So we need a whole new smelting array to take. Basically, we want this. We want iron ore in into plate, and then rather than outputting the plate, we would have input it, uh, output it straight into another in furnace with another lot of fuel, and again output it out to then output it out to the belt that's going to feed it out to the rest of the universe. So that means a whole new furnace setup. And I will take you through right now through my particular furnace setup. Uh, nope. I've boo-booed already. No, I didn't boo-boo. Yeah, it should be lined up with the one above. Should be roughly the same length. And then... I need a gap of three, which is one of those buildings. And then another row of furnaces. And then the output belt. Mm. Okay. So. We're going to go coal in. And there's method to my madness, so bear with me. Oops. There to there to there to there to there to there to there. Okay. Uh, we need to take we need a whole new belt of iron ore. Aren't we lucky that I may have already accidentally set up a whole nother belt already? Knowing full well we would get to steel processing. Uh, you need power as well. Put her in there. And you might say, JD, what are you doing? You, you, you're putting it on both sides of the belt. It, it's quite intentional. Uh, come on. I just need a couple of trees out of the way. Two, one, two. Um, this one's fed differently. It's fed differently to our last ones. Um, because we need to feed coal into both the top furnaces and the bottom furnaces. Uh, where do you run out? You run to there. Yeah. Uh, because it's fed differently, it, it has an entirely different um, uh, feeding methods. The correct, well, the worst English ever, but it, it's it's entirely correct. It, it, it's fed very very differently. It's fed by this dedicated underground belt. You can see coal's just slowly filling up this whole belt. And the reason it's done that way is I'll run out of iron again. It's done with burner inserters. Nope. Mm. I think I might have boo-booed. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, it's fed with burner inserters. Um, only reason is, well, there's no real reason. You could use standard inserters. Um, these guys just use slightly less materials. And I know lots of people argue with me, you know, you, you can never upgrade these things. They, they're absolutely useless. Um, I agree with you. They are absolutely useless. Um, same as the burner miner drills are absolutely useless later game, but I always find something to do with them. Uh, we're making iron gears again, so we need to go back to our little chest and pick up a ton of iron gears and make these guys again. And we'll pick up a ton of these. Now I know we automated this one, and what we'll actually do. Is we can just afford one of these. We're going to forward filter inserters now. So at the end of the line, or past the end of the line to be more exact, we're going to put down a filter inserter and say, hey you, take inserters and put them in a box for us. And as you can see, this guy's super, super fast, but he will fill up that box for us with inserters. Um, which is good, because we're about to use a heap of them to make steel. 
So, we need to take, uh, we need to to standard inserters first uh, to feed our ore in. Oops, there, 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 there. Rinse and repeat all the way down. Uh, we need power. We need power these guys up. Really, that failed. Why did that fail? Because I was standing too far away. Oops. Alright, try again. Done. So we now have iron. Uh, we now need iron into steel. Which is as simple as that. So again, we take our power pole and run along here. Oh, one more. So as you can see, we're now producing steel. And then save story. We need our output. Which means yet another row of power poles. Uh, now, there's, there, there are more efficient ways to build this. I have seen many, many ways to build a steel smelter. Um, lots of which I actually prefer over my own design. The only thing my design has, which is why I keep building it, is I'm doing all this with small power poles. Every other design I've seen needs medium power poles, which means you need steel production up and running already to build your steel smelter. And my attitude is, well, I've got a heap of power poles. I'm just going to use the power poles I've got. Um, I'll save the, 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 the time, the effort of getting steel to make steel. And I'll just use what crap I have, you know, what crap power poles I've got. Because I've crafted enough that I'll upgrade when I have to, basically. Uh, so we need a stack more of those guys. Um, wrong button, JD. Wrong button. Uh, I have no idea how many more I need. Uh, less than that, probably. Uh, okay. Long hand inserters right the way across. Uh, I've only got seven of them. Alright, run up here to our little box that's storing them. Uh, pick up a stack. A couple of stacks. Lots of them. One there. Oop. There. There. And then we need to feed in at this end. Go on, furnace is out of my way. Tree also out of my way. Um, there, 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 there. And then, oops. Yeah, it works. Power poles all the way along. And all the way along again. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't fed coal into this system. Done. Now, this is a belt. Let's let's call it a belt of coal. At this point, it's a half a belt of coal. At this point, it's a quarter of a belt of coal. And you got to remember that each time you split, you're taking half off. So, I'm multiple splits in. There is going to be a point very, very soon where I'm going to run out of coal on this belt. Um, it's already getting awfully thin, and it will probably get more thin as time goes by. Um, you can now be scrapped because we're now on red and green sites, which means that particular build won't work anymore. Uh, and our inventory is full of all sorts of shit. So, let's take our coal and just dump it into random furnaces. 
Uh, iron ore into the iron furnaces. Uh, stone, stone I, I, I really don't have a use for yet. Um, but we will find a use for stone. Uh, for no, not stone. Wood. I don't have a use for wood yet. But we'll find a use for that in the next episode. Uh, research. Let's do that one. Lab research speed. Uh, it basically means we will be able to chew through packs even faster. Uh, oops. Knocked out of the way. And, oops. Labs. We'll dump down some more labs. Long-handed, 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 long-handed. Oops, did I build that wrong? I did. It's alright. It's alright, we'll fix it. Nope, I can't run and pick up on the belt at the same time. Nope. There, there, and there, and there. Alright. Great, the inventory is looking a little bit, little bit cleaner. Oh, we can do another lab research speed. So the idea is, you want to make sure that you're producing packs as fast as you, you, you're making them. Uh, dump that. Oops. Dump those in there. At the moment, as you can see, our green belt is getting shorter, which means we're actually using them faster than, than we're producing them. Probably means I don't actually need this spe sp uh, speed upgrade. Um, it does mean when the belt gets backed up, I can reduce that back up faster. Uh, but frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with, with it being fairly backed up. Uh, we need another one of these. Uh, but we'll build that in the next episode, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, thank you guys for watching, as always. Hope you're enjoying... Whoop, another achievement. 20,000 iron plates per hour. We are steamrolling along. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. As always, hope you guys are learning something, maybe at the same time. Um, oh! Anybody who's a Patreon supporter, you will find that one of the Patreon perks is... I think it's over the, the, the $10 a month upgrade? Maybe the $5 a month upgrade. I'm not sure. Um, all the save games for all my series, even my personal saves, all sorts of stuff, end up on Patreon. So, if you guys have ever felt a little bit guilty about running an ad blocker or something, and you're enjoying the content, you just want to throw me a couple of bucks a month, it's appreciated. On top of that, there's a couple of little perks on there, like having access to all these saves, which means you can then load up the map yourself and go grab the blueprints yourself rather than waiting for me to hopefully remember to attach them in the description somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you're enjoying... At the end of this, maybe on the screen right now, you'll see a link to Patreon along with the subscribe button. Check out my latest video along with, I don't know what the fourth one is. Uh, maybe the playlist for this one. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.